staying with environmental matters, the Minister of Environment, Balarabi Lawal, has collaborated with Oxfam Nigeria to advocate a safe environment for future generations. This was the Minister's submission in commemoration of the 2024 World Environment Day in Abuja. Now, the theme for this year's World Environment Day is Land Restoration, Desertification and Drought Resilience, which speaks to the critical challenges posed by environmental degradation caused by human activities. While commending President Bola Ahmed Tenebo's efforts to address environmental degradation in the country, the minister stated that this is a call to action to raise awareness on the need to protect the ecosystem and preserve it for future generations. In their goodwill messages, stakeholders agree that there is a need for collaborative efforts from individuals and institutions to address the critical environmental issues that threaten the existence of mankind. Nigeria is making progress in, ad in addressing land degradation and desertification through initiatives such as the Great Green Wall, which I'm sure you have been seeing the, the movie there, the Great Green Wall, then the new map, which is also trying to address the issue of environment, and also the ACRISA, Agroclimatic uh, Resilience and semi arid Landscape. Measures have been implemented through the programs and projects to restore the greater landscapes, promoting sustainable land management practices and enhancing the resi resilience, resilience of our communities to drought and education. Continuous advocacy engagements, public awareness campaigns, and climate actions, including education, is a vital angle which must bring every Nigerian on board both young and old, to support government efforts and activities. The Climate Justice Youth Ambassadors, as you will get to see today, was born out of the ASCJ project to tap into the strength and capacity of our youth as solution bearers to our country's climate challenges and support the government as foot soldiers to deepen and carry out government drive to solve the global climate crisis at the grassroots local, state and national, regional and global levels. Every monetary unit of investment in environmental restoration gives us back 30 units of return. Now imagine what this means as an equation if we do not undertake this investment. As a matter of fact, for any government, for any public body around the world, two of the highest return to investment in terms of public funding is human capital and environment. Now,